Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Sunday Omni. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and be sure to like this video as well. Also, don't forget to turn on the notification bell. This way you'll be notified every single time I upload a new video on my channel. So in this video, we are going to be talking about the former Real Housewives of Atlanta star, Portia Williams, fiance, Dirty Simon, aka Simon Gabadia, allegedly talking about me with one of his super fans all right so one of my subscribers who's a member of our tribe wrote me on instagram and sent me this funny exchange between simon and his super fan and um, it was hilarious and i wanted to share it with you guys so atl miss says y'all got the blogs going crazy with jealousy they say they on vacation every day who is funding it they mad and y'all happy stay that way I love it. Show me more. I'm traveling with y'all, virtually of course, lol. And then Simon Gabadia responds and says, at ATL Miss, maybe after they've worked as long as I have, 36 years, they can be blessed with the same life. Then he puts prayer hands up and stuff like that. Then ATL Miss responds again to Simon Gabadia and says, period show them how they are supposed to be living i love portia for real and i'm so glad you're making her happy if she needs an extra bridesmaid y'all call me lol <laughs> you guys this this exchange was so cute and so funny um it's just okay let's start off with the jealousy because this is the number one thing that portia williams and simon gabadia fans always say is like when they you know watch videos of people that don't subscribe to this relationship or don't believe it or don't agree with it and how it was formed and the foundation that this relationship was built on um cheating allegedly and lots of lies allegedly and um, so, you know, betraying a coworker as well. Um, <laughs> Portia Williams, Fallon Gabadia. Remember, they were uh, coworkers and colleagues working together on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. And then Portia came along and just stole this whole woman's lifestyle, her husband, her stepkids, her home, just everything, you know. Um, but anyway, so jealousy is the number one thing that these fans say. You guys, I am not jealous of this relationship at all okay i am happy in my life <laughs> me and simon are doing this exact same thing how can i be jealous of someone that's pretty much at the same level as me we're both middle class citizens um i also by the way i worked in the oil and gas industry in my 20s i you know i have a diploma in oil and gas administration uh, that's something me and him have in common we're africans uh, what else? Um, we're, we both blog. If you guys follow me, you know that I used to blog for the Huffington Post. I also blog on my website as well for my business. Um, so there are a lot of things that Simon and I actually have in common. There's nothing to be jealous of. By the way, I love the fact that he also stays in Airbnbs. You guys know I have properties and I have Airbnb suites as well. And I have guests and tenants who stay short term and stuff like that. So I like the fact that he also supports a type of business that I do. Um, that's really cool. Like, that's amazing because I'm an Airbnb advocate. Um, so I really don't see what there is to be jealous about. Like, I'm sorry, like none of the guys that I've been with, like, uh, I'm sorry, Simon, you are just not, mm -mm, no, I can't do it. Uh, they, I would not, no, Simon would drain the living life out of me. I could never even be in a relationship with a man like that. And by the way, I've been with men that are similar, that have similar characteristics like Dirty Simon, and it was toxic. But I feel like Simon is like 2.0, 3.0. Like I can't even handle his level like he's too much and this man would drain me emotionally mentally and just everything i would lose everything if i was in a relationship with someone like simon who is so competitive with the women he's who, who he's with and he also wants to like make them caregivers and nannies for himself and everything like it's just too much you know this guy would just drain me um so no it wouldn't work i do not want porsche's man guys no i don't know why these fans always say jealousy i love seeing people living living their best lives you know 
I love so many couples that are happy and it's genuine. It's just the foundation of how this relationship came together. It, I just don't subscribe to, all right? So when I make my videos, it's not meant to be hating on any of these people. I don't even know them personally, you know? So it's not personal. It's just like we see Portia, she's in trouble and um, she doesn't listen. This is a choice that she's making. So it's okay to, you know, hear a video of somebody disagreeing with the lifestyle or whatever they're are doing that's all that's pretty much it and plus you guys know on my channel I focus on entertainment news so I just share my opinion it's just social commentary on different topics so when you guys ask me what I think about something I just tell you what I think um, I'm not the biggest you know Portia Williams fan you know I think she is beautiful she has a nice body as well and a beautiful daughter but that's pretty much it oh and I also support the fact that she's a businesswoman and I don't want to see someone like Dirty Simon take away everything that she's worked hard for that's something that you know will really hurt me to see if that happens to her but again this is a choice right um what else 36 years simon says he's been working i still don't know what this man does for a living when i say he was involved or he is involved in the oil and gas industry allegedly he's an oil tycoon but i don't know what oil and gas industry or whatever he's working with because he allegedly has an empty office with just a printer and a desk and no employees so some Something is a little bit off there, all right? So this is what we talk about, you guys. It is not hating. It's the fact that we don't have... I don't have all the information. The man doesn't share this information. And maybe in my next video, I'll tell you guys the reason why Portia is not returning to the Real Housewives of Atlanta. And it had to do with her trying to hide some things regarding her fiance, allegedly, that we'll discuss maybe in the next video. But thank you so much, my subscriber that sent me this exchange because it's so entertaining and it's just so funny. But there's one thing that I wish Simon would have done is say my name say my name like simon if you're gonna address me please say my name next time because you know you got to give credit you know i always give you credit for for you you know i show your face i say your name so if you want to address me please feel free to say my name my name is sunday omni you guys follow me on instagram as well and if there's anything that you'd like me to talk about or any tips or news stories that you'd like me to cover on this channel be sure to send it over to me i love you guys i appreciate you you guys encourage me so much but remember when I do these videos it comes from a place of also um, understanding and having experience with people who or let's just say men that you know um, take advantage and I see for example, in this relationship that Dirty Simon is really taking advantage of Portia. And if she's not careful, she can lose everything. You guys, we all have a story. No one's story is perfect. I'm not perfect either. I've made a lot of mistakes. And I talk about that as well if you get a copy of my book. It's called More Than Good Enough. Uh, check out the video description and get your copy. And yeah, understand my story and then maybe you'll understand where I'm coming from. Because this is just my perspective. And my perspective just comes from my experience, right? So we all have a different perspective. And this is just another view. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for your understanding. But remember that my opinion is not the only opinion. So I look forward to reading what you guys have to say down in the the comment section as well all right until our next conversation uh be sure to check out the video description connect with me on facebook and on instagram take care cheers